What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Connor Speed 6 Thanks for stopping in today and checking out this all new video. What I wanted to do is actually take a look at the all new tire compounds and options that we do have for off-road or rally racing. But not only look at them, also do a little comparison using this 2011 Subaru WRX STI. Now, anyone who's been tuning, upgrading, or building vehicles knows that you do have multiple different options for these different tire compounds and different options you can place on your car. Uh, everything, of course, from stock to sport, semi-slick, the Horizon semi-slick, and even actual slicks. Plus, beyond that, we've got drift. We also have the infamous rally, off-road, and our snow tires. Now, what we're going to look at today is the difference and comparing the rally tire and the off-road race tire compounds to see which one is best to have installed on your rally car. Now, what I've actually done on one of my vehicles, it's a B-Class RS 1600. I installed the off-road race tire on that and actually beat a rival's time that I had set in that same car using the rally tire compound. So that got my wheels turning a little bit. Is that the way it's going to be for most vehicles or was it just that low-class B vehicle? So this is a, again, 2011 Subaru WRX STI. It is built and tuned to A class. So what I figured we could do is we could run this vehicle because it's you know a little bit more powerful than a B class car is going to be. So we have to sort of weigh the pros and cons between each of these tire compounds. Now looking at the rally tire compound, that put my PI at A800. If I were to remove that tire compound, it would take the PI down to 785. I do lose 0.3 of handling though from 5.7 to 5.4. The off-road tire compound drops to the same PI of A785 with the exact same amount of handling loss. So we have to sort of figure out, is the rally tire compound that much better to where we wanna use 15 hole PI on just that upgrade? or can we use that 15 PI somewhere different, such as a little bit more power or maybe weight reduction uh, or some other things that could be added to the car to help in other ways. Now, what we'll do first is we will actually head up to the top of the volcano to just a short little dirt or rally racing circuit up here called the Caldera Scramble. We'll run a few laps here in rivals mode and I will set a time using the rally tires. Once I set that time, I'll then go back to the Baja hub and install the off-road race tires and then we will run hot laps on that to see if I can match or even possibly beat the time using the off-road tires rather than the rally tires. Once we're done with this we'll move to a different surface because as you can see this is basically just gravel up here. So we'll head down uh, into probably the jungle area into where we can get into some mud, a thicker type of road surface rather than gravel because the mud's gonna be a lot more difficult, of course. So uh, we're gonna take a look at both of these things and see what happens. Uh, but first, let's turn some laps on these rally tires in the STI. So here is a time that I had set. This is most likely just from a race that I've done. I haven't turned laps uh, in this event on rivals yet. So we'll just race against my own ghost I set this in the 2004 WRX, uh, so we'll see how the 2011 uh, Subi does against that time. All right, so I've actually set a time here. It looks like my time in the vehicle using the rally tires is going to be a 47.181. So now we have a baseline to compare the off-road racing tires to the rally tires. So let's go fit those and we'll come back 
turn some more laps in the off-road tires, and we'll see which one is the fastest. Now, for the sake of keeping it even, what I will do is I will keep the upgrades otherwise completely the same. I won't change anything at all. So all I'm doing is changing just the tire compound to the off-road race tire compound. That's all we're going to do. Uh, that way we can uh, sort of keep it, you know, even Steven, uh, as, as we say here in the US. The main benefit of fitting these vehicles with these off-road tires is you do have the opportunity to add a few more upgrades post off-road tires. So you can get a little bit more power, but you may sacrifice a little grip, but that's what we're gonna find out right now. All right, those off-road tires look nice and chunky. Uh, let's grab my rival and see if I can beat the time that I set in the vehicle using the rally tires. All right, so again, I've made no changes to the vehicle other than the tire compound itself. Uh, we're gonna take this quick recon lap uh, just to sort of see my initial thoughts Right now, it does not feel much different at all. What I could probably do uh, to sort of help it out a little bit is go back into my tuning and adjust the tire PSI, put some more pressure in the tires to make it more like an actual rally tire itself. So we may do that just to see if I think this feels a little bit too mushy. Let's focus in here. I'm gonna go ahead and chase this ghost and uh, I'll be right back with my thoughts. Wow, this is actually sort of insane. I have the exact same horsepower, exact same tune with different tires. This is with the off-road tires. I ran a 46.079, which is 1.1 seconds faster than the rival's time that I set using the Rally Tire Compound in this 2011 Subaru WRX STI. That was my second full lap on this rival's event. That's a bit mind-blowing and um, much bigger gap than I thought we are going to see, honestly. Uh, so I'm actually really interested to see uh, what the result is down in the jungle where the uh, roads are more muddy uh, rather than gravel. Okay, so let's head down here to the jungles to see uh, what type of events we can find uh, that will be able to give us what we are looking for uh, in the form of a nice sort of muddy rally circuit. Uh, this actually looks like it could be pretty perfect. Now, the off-road race tires are just for simply off-road, so that's dirt and any off-road terrain. While the rally tires uh, are really built for multi-surface racing, so mud, dirt, gravel, and yes, even small bits of tarmac. So this does have one good bit of tarmac on it, nothing too much, a long straight, of course, for the start finish, and another little section here uh, with just a nice smooth bend in the road uh, that's not going to require too much lateral grip so this should actually be a good circuit i know my way around this circuit pretty well so i think it'll be a, a good place to start here using this event all right so we are just basically running again my own time set uh, this time that i set was most likely just in an online race uh, maybe even a multiplayer event i don't know so uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes again. These off-road tires are meant for strictly off-road and most likely not going to be doing very well on the tarmac bits, but luckily the tarmac isn't super windy uh, or tight where we're going to need to use a bunch of grip. See, it's a nice flowing section here without uh, many issues as well as the, the, the front straight. Uh, so yeah, we should be able to put these off-road tires to use.
So there you have it. I put in a one minute 13.941 using the 2011 STI in the off-road tire compound category. That's four seconds faster than the rival's time, which was my own time just set in a regular, just online race that I was doing uh, or something in Horizon Life, who knows. But let's go ahead and jump back over to the hub real quick and throw the rally tires back on to see if I can beat one minute 13.941. All right, so let's get this set up. Now, one thing that I did notice using the off-road tires uh, was that the car did feel a little bit less responsive on the tarmac sections of this race. Uh, so I'm eager to see how the rally tires will do. I'm pretty sure they'll do a little bit better in that section. However, in the mud, I think the off-road tires are going to be far more grippy than the uh, rally tires are going to be this round. I'm really, really, really interested in this. It, it's been bugging me for a couple days since I was thinking about this and I was just like, wow, I'm really not sure which tire to fit. So this is going to tell me and hopefully it helps you guys on your builds moving forward. So again, the exact same build except the tire compound is rally instead of off-road. Much more grippy on that little tarmac section there. Uh, I did lower the tire PSI on the off-road tires to 22 and a half in the front and 23 and a half in the rear. These I believe are 23 and 24. Uh, 23 in the front, 24 in the rear on the rally tires. So I did leave them a little bit softer uh, on the off-road compound because those tires are just bigger and bulkier and they need a little bit more room to give. Uh, yeah, so this will be interesting, but uh, yeah, so let's dive into these hot laps and uh, and see what type of, of time I can put together. Hopefully it's faster than a 113.941. If not, then I'm gonna go ahead and just say it right now. Uh, the off-road tires are the way to go for rally cars, at least in A class and B class for now. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into these hot laps and see what the result is. So I've already turned, what, six laps now, and my fastest time is a dirty 114.4. Uh, I have not come anywhere closer to that, uh, especially even on a clean lap. And as you can see, this lap is not getting any better. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I feel like the off-road tires in all aspects of this event, with the minor exception of a little bit more of a mushy feel on the tarmac, feels overall hand over fist better uh, than the rally tire the rally tire lacks turn in especially on you know this thick mud or the thick dirt in these areas of the map there's lots and lots of understeer so the the car tends to just slide through a corner rather than rotating around the the off-road tires grip up significantly better out of corners as well uh, even if you're barely even in the power band and the tires aren't spinning uh, it seems like it just digs into the dirt better and pulls the car out of the corners and gets you on your way. Um, now, the rally tire is again not bad. I would recommend using it over the off road tire if you are running a rally stage that has at least, well, probably about 50 50 dirt to uh, tarmac uh, because then you're going to have a little bit more grip on these sections where you're really going to need it. But honestly, I really, really don't see the massive benefit in running the rally tires unless it is maybe in a super, super high powered vehicle uh, and you're going to really need more lateral grip uh, on tarmac sections. But for now, uh, until something else comes up uh, or until I do more testing, I am going to be installing, it looks like, off road race tires on all of my lower class rally builds, probably A class. Uh, B class and C class for now. I don't know. Let me know what you think. What do you think about this? Are you going to start doing it on yours? Have you ran tests like this? And if you have, you know, what are your thoughts? Uh, what are your findings? Uh, I am honestly struggling uh, to even come close to my lap time here. I set the lap of the 113.941 with the off road tires in four laps. Uh, so that's one out lap, three flying laps, and I set that time 
Uh, and I am now on my ninth lap using the rally tires and I'm just struggling. The car's understeering all over the place. Uh, this is not me doing anything different. This is me driving the car exactly the same with the exact same upgrades outside of the tire compound. This is even before I added in a little bit more power. I think that's pretty much this video in a nutshell. Rally tires ended up in a tree. But no, the time that I set in the 113.941 was even before I added any more power upgrades uh, to account for that 15 PI drop for using off-road tires. So in my opinion, all around, it just seems like the off-road tires are going to be a better option for your rally cars. Again, at least right now for A and B class. I don't know, again, drop your thoughts below. I really hope this helps you guys build your vehicles here moving forward. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, a positive comment down below, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for me. That's going to do it for me, guys. I really appreciate y'all watching. Until next time, I am Connor Speed 6. Much love, everyone. See you soon.